They want to destroy you. Influencers, companies, websites. They all want to destroy you. You open Instagram, you scroll a bit, and then you close it. You might think nothing of that, right? But the company behind Instagram, fucking Meta, <laughs> they're thinking, how can we get this person to stay on the app longer? You watch a YouTuber. Let's say, like, Hamza or something. Hate to bring up Hamza, but like, oh man, his his new shit is so bad. Like, if, if you watch new Hamza, like, please don't. <laughs> his new shit is just, it's no better than Instagram, honestly. Like, his new shit is just junk for your brain, right? When, like, let's say you watch Hamza. He's thinking, well, oh, you watch Hamza, you watch one video, you go on with your day. He's thinking how he can get you to watch more of his videos. Go on Pornhub. You shouldn't be doing that already, but, you know, you, you go on Pornhub, you watch one video, and you're just like, Eh, I don't even feel like it anymore. You close it. Which, you're probably not thinking that, but like, if you are, good for you. So, you go on Pornhub, you watch one video, you close it. They're thinking how they can get you to stay on there longer. And why am I bringing up the fact that all these influencers, all these companies, all these websites, they want you to stay with them longer. It's because they will play dirty to get you to stay longer. All of these things that I've mentioned have one thing in common, and that is that they produce dopamine. How they're thinking how do you, they get you attached to that dopamine. And of course, like, you know, fucking habit cycle, you got the positive reward loop, all that sort of shit. Like, your brain feels good when you do these habits. There's a darker side. You can get people more addicted to what you put out there if you can make them mentally ill. If you can make someone depressed, they will be chasing that dopamine high more than anything you could put out naturally would do. They want you to be depressed. They want you to be anxious. They want you to be hurting, spiritually, mentally. It is a best case scenario for these companies if you are on the brink of killing yourself and you decide to go on one last doom scroll of all, like to end all doom scrolls, essentially. They want that shit. They want that. They want you to scroll on Instagram or like TikTok for like eight hours before you go fucking hang yourself. It's dark times we're living in. We are fighting a mental war against everything, essentially. Everything that people my age have come to know, we are fighting a war against that shit. 
and it wants us to lose. It wants us to be depressed. It wants us to be anxious. They profit off of you being depressed. They profit off of you wanting to kill yourself. Now what can we do? Well obviously, get that shit out of your life. Get that shit well out of your life. You're better than that. You don't need it. You can go outside, you can enjoy the flowers. You can enjoy the sunrise and the sunset. You can stay away from this stuff. But they will still come after you. 